so much for coming to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys all the products and steps that I do to cover my acne. I have been having just such problems with acne lately. I feel like it gets better for a month or two and then it just gets worse and worse and worse for several months. Um, but today was pretty bad. So instead of just doing my makeup like normal, I decided to film for you guys and show you guys what I do in order to just kind of keep everything hidden and smooth over and, you know, make it look, look the best that we can. If you guys are interested in seeing how I cover my acne. Let's get into it. <laughs> So here is my face with no makeup. You can see I have a lot of acne going on. I have a lot of redness. It's just, it's really bad right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why, but it's just one of those things that I think a lot of us deal with and it's just not fun. So we're, I'm going to show you guys what I do to kind of cover this up, make it as hidden as we can, and also some tips to keep your makeup looking good all day long and so you don't have it wearing off and just weird patches showing. So we're gonna do all of that. So first, let's start with a primer. I'm using a luminous kind of primer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Yes, I said it right. So, so using a primer that is moisturizing and has like a little bit of luminous shimmer to it, like not too much, just a little bit, using it under your foundation is just gonna help kind of even things out and just kind of help bounce the light off and just not let your spots and redness and stuff show through. I feel like it just really helps. Like you'll see even just putting this on will kind of help all the redness kind of tone down and just kind of help even things out a little bit. So you can tell just that like helped kind of just even things out. Like if you are not even wearing makeup and you just kind of want just like a tiny bit of something just to kind of help even things out, I would suggest this, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. It's seriously just like, I don't know, it almost looks like you have a filter on. Like it doesn't make things look perfect, but it just, it just gives you like that little bit of coverage uh, and like a, not like shimmer, but like, you know what I mean? It's really natural looking and I just really love that. So just doing something like that under your foundation is just gonna help. So the next step, I do a green primer. So I have the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, just the color correcting fluid in the green one. This you wanna do just a tiny, tiny bit. Like we're not trying to look green. We just want to color correct and tone down the redness before we go in with foundation. That way we don't have to rely on the foundation to cover up all of the redness. It's just gonna help. But I feel like I've just dealt with acne forever and my skin gets better sometimes and then sometimes it just gets worse. So what I like to do is I like to put it on and just let it sit for a couple minutes and get a little bit more tacky and then I'll blend it out. There's a fly. I have a fly swatter so I am prepared. Now it went away. All right, so now I'll just go blend them out. So now you can probably see the green uh, just a tiny bit. So once we go in with foundation, you're not gonna see green coming through. If you use something too pigmented or just leave it way too green, uh, it will just show through and it will not, it, your face will end up looking like a weird color. So just make sure you get that good and blend it out. Next step is foundation and I like to use a full coverage foundation. This one from Foera is really nice. It's really cheap. It's from Amazon. I did a video all about it. 
and I still am loving it. So I'm gonna mix these two colors on the back of my hand. So then I just tap it on with my finger. Then I'm gonna use the Real Techniques sponge to blend it out. I think a sponge just works so beautifully. It kind of thins out the formula of the foundation just a tiny bit and gives it a little bit more like a natural dewy finish. Also, I feel like a sponge just kind of presses it on top instead of like a brush can kind of swirl things around and get foundation in weird cracks and crevices and with acne. And if you have like dry spots, it's just not good. So I think a sponge is just the best way to go. And what I do also, if I want my makeup to really last, is use this setting spray. This is the All Nighter by Urban Decay, my favorite for making your makeup last. It's amazing. Um, I'll just spray that a couple times on the beauty sponge first. And what we're doing is locking in the foundation as we're putting it on and not just after. So it just really helps to do that extra step. So then just applying this as normal. Okay, so now that we have the foundation on, I'm gonna go in with some con concealer, concealer. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Just make sure you use a pretty full coverage one. I like this one, as well as the Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm gonna use some powder. This is the Cody Airspun Powder. This translucent powder, there's just something about it that just helps like smooth everything out. Like if you have like more bumps and like little texture, using a powder like this will really help. It just, I can't explain it. It's only like five bucks. Like this is like the best, cheapest powder out there and it really just helps blend everything and give you this smooth like perfected look um, it also helps your makeup last so i'm going to apply concealer i'm going to blend it out and then i'm going to apply powder on top with the sponge So and sometimes I just cover my where I did concealer with the powder but since we have a bunch of spots and stuff from the acne and I want to keep those covered throughout the day what I'm going to do is go ahead and just get more powder and just kind of cover my entire face with it. And then don't worry about looking too pale because we're going to go in with bronzer and contour and we'll fix and even it all out. That powder is just like magic. It just smooths and helps everything last so much longer. So I would really suggest trying that if you have not tried it out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my bronzer and blush. I'll just do it off camera real quick because it's just normal. But just keep in mind, we don't wanna do use anything shimmery, any bronzer or blush you wanna use. Just make sure it's a more matte formula or just like a more like baked formula that has maybe a little bit of like luminous to luminosity to it, but nothing shimmery or sparkly because that's just gonna emphasize the unevenness and your bumps and everything. So we wanna just keep everything looking matte, but just blended and just really soft and nice as well. So I will be right back. All right, so now I'm back. I just did bronzer and blush and fixed my brows a little bit. So now I'm gonna do some highlight. Um, for highlight, if you have texture on you know, your, the top of your cheekbones, I would just skip highlight. 
You don't need it. Uh, it's just gonna emphasize things if you have texture in those spots. But what I'm gonna use is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in Luminous Light. Um, I need to get a new one, it's almost gone. But this powder is just so gorgeous. It's just so subtle and beautiful. It doesn't really emphasize a lot of stuff. So this is gonna be perfect for the times when you just have a lot on your face that you just don't want to accentuate. So I'm gonna get some on my brush. I usually like this to just um, kind of do an all over face glow situation, but when I need some highlight that has a little bit less going on, I like it for that. You just have to kind of build it up. And as you can see, it is just giving me a little bit of a glow, not like my normal beaming highlight, but sometimes it's okay to not be beaming. And then sometimes I will do a little bit there and there and on my nose. Just make sure to avoid any areas that you do have a breakout because of course it's just gonna emphasize it. So now that we have a little bit of glow going on, I feel like it just helps bring everything to life. Like, I don't know what we did without highlight. I still am like, what? Next, we're gonna do some uh, setting spray. I was gonna say setting powder. We already did that. Um, I'm gonna use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. This is my favorite spray. It's so pretty. It has like these like little tiny, tiny golden like shimmers in there. I don't know, but like you can't see it on the face. It's not like shimmer or sparkle or glitter. It's just like the finest stuff and it just looks really pretty. So I'm going to use this and then I'm going to top that with the all nighter setting spray. Let it dry. So using a setting spray is not only going to help lock in your makeup so that you don't have things melting off and moving around on you throughout the day, but it's also gonna help just take that powder and just kind of melt it down into the skin, make everything look more skin-like and just kind of make sure you're not getting like the chunky, cakey like spots, you know what I mean? Like when you have those little like acne breakouts that are getting dry and crusty and gross, like any kind of powder and foundation that settles in there just gets worse throughout the day. So making sure you use a good amount of setting spray just kind of blends it together and just makes it look so much better and just more skin-like. Of course, you can still see that I have breakouts. You can see the bump. I mean, we're not just gonna make it disappear. I wish we could, but we can't. And I mean, but like looking at my face, I think I can barely tell in the monitor that there was any spots there. Just doing all these steps to just kind of make sure everything is as smooth and flawless as possible is just really gonna help. And then taking the extra steps to use setting spray and setting powder just helps lock it in all day so you don't have to worry about it. I just have a lot of experience with covering my acne. I've been doing it for years. I feel like I used to bring makeup everywhere I went because I'd always need to be touching up even an hour or two after I apply my makeup. And now it's like I put on my makeup and I'm gone all day, we're out in the sun, we're out you know, at the beach, and my makeup doesn't really move that much. So I've just, I think just doing the extra steps will save you so much time and effort trying to touch up later and just helps keep everything looking so much better throughout the whole day. All right, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I do three videos a week and I'd love to have you part of my little YouTube fam. Also, if you wanna be notified when I upload, make sure you ring the little notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.